Yo, welcome back. Uncensored Locks. Today is a beautiful Sunday night. We all know what's going on in this world today. Why the fuck can't we find some toilet paper? No, but in all seriousness and all honesty, shout out to the fucking healthcare workers, the fucking nurses, the doctors, all them people. Coronavirus. 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 That's all we've been talking about. That's all has been going on. How do you feel about coronavirus? Wait, I'm going to ask a different question to start this off. What? And I want everyone to answer. What's your answer? Just speak for up. fuck's sake. Uh -huh. uh, how is the coronavirus affecting you? Yo, sooner or later, mm -hmm. I'm finna have to really take a shit. <laughs> And there's not gonna be any toilet paper. But is that? But and I know I ain't being, the only one. Is that the like, biggest concern, though? What? In the time being, like, there's nothing currently affecting you about it. Whether it be shopping. You know what? Or... In a way, okay. That shit making me cautious as fuck. I'm scared of everybody. I went in Walmart today. I had a bandana over my face. I was like a I got like a fucking idiot. No, you know I'm glad. Saying? I'm glad you brought it up. I'm glad you brought it up because it's interesting. I, I also went to Publix and I also saw a bunch of people with masks on. Right? Yeah, and he's trying. I started looking at myself. I'm like, do I fucking need that mask on? You know what I'm trying to say? So it, it, it makes people delirious. I guess you want to call it. it makes people. Wants it right, so hey. So how does it affect? It's the cleanest my hand has ever been. Look at this shit, so. <laughs> and it's it's just crazy because I look at obviously financially. That's 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 the biggest one, um, hands down, financials. Yeah, I mean yeah. that was that was my biggest fear even two weeks ago before this even came. It was the financials. Yeah, if you get sick, you get sick. But we got some fucking good healthcare that we that I, I would assume that we have. You feel what I'm trying to say? And I just feel like at the end of the day, money. You feel me? We're all worried about. Is the fucking land owner going to tell us to fucking still pay rent? We're worried about the car. Is the car going to get taken away? We're worried about most essentially our fucking jobs. Are we going to be able to maintain this money that's what we used to get? So that's my biggest fear. How about you? So for me, obviously, being your partner, it's money. But on the other hand, it's also the issue of I have a compromised immune system. So even though I may not be above the age of 49, I am one of those people that are high risk of if I do contract it, I can possibly die. So there is that paranoia of constantly like, yo, we have a child. So if we want to go take him to the park or if we want to do anything, it's that constant. Well, if he touches anything, yeah. there's a chance that it may not affect him, but it can pass like on to me. And it can be potentially worse than just a cold in my case. So there's... Paranoia on everything. I mean, I sneeze, I cough, and I'm like, wait, hold up. Is there something wrong? I don't want to be around anyone that's coughing, sneezing, anything of that nature. Right. So for me, I think it's more of a mind psyche thing. Mm. I'm scared of a lot of shit. The, 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 the niggas walking around coughing and sneezing, oblivious to what the fuck is going on. I'm scared of just the germs and shit. Though. Yeah, but how, you feel what I'm saying? How do y'all feel about the possibility of a relief package from Donald Trump. That's a great, baby, you know, all the great points. I feel like, again, that great segue to the financials. I feel like that's going to help. That's going to help a lot of people who don't really have. But for how long, though? That's a problem. We don't fucking know. By end of day. only going to get two checks. That's fine. I, bro, I, me personally, it just my mentality, the way I think, I'm already hoarding everything now. Mm -hmm. Everything that so I'm getting to me now, I'm, I'm hoarding that shit. You feel what I'm trying to say? So it's like, whatever else you're going to put on top of that is going to help us mm -hmm. sustain for how, however long this shit goes on for you. If you want to say so I just feel like it's going to help. It's going to help a lot. A lot of people complain about it. it's only $1,200. Shit, bro. That's no, a I'm lot. not complaining because that's $1,200 that's a lot. I have. That's you a feel lot. Me? You feel me? So. See, that, I have a problem with that because nobody even knows the amount. Like, there's been so many different rumors. Like, oh, $1,000 per adult, 500 additional per kid, and then it was a $700 check. Then it, like, it's so many things. Like, we just kind of need to sit back as a nation right and now, watch what? what's going on and play out. Social media could be our biggest friend or our biggest, biggest enemy. Allies, absolutely. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, yes, it's a great platform to get information across, but if we're not spreading the right information and we're just spreading every article that we see, whether we verify if it's true or not, these people that are reading it are assuming that you've already verified it and we're just going off balls. Mm -hmm. Because as far as we know, it could be a $300 check and we all getting hyped for shit. Yeah, but like my idol said, the truth is more entertaining than... Uh, you know what I hate? No, the lie is more entertaining than the truth. So at the end of the day, of course people won't hear, oh my God. Another thing I hate too, y'all with this 
conspiracy shit, man. Y'all need well, to stop, stop it, dog. Stop. First of all, stop, 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 stop. Stop it, please. First of all, man. you are a conspiracy theorist yourself. Yeah, but when it comes to certain things, I know what to be conspiracy. Con- nah. I know what Conspire. to be. What the, I, I, you, know, you know what the word I'm trying to use. I know what to come up with when it, when it's time for me but to come up with what? scenarios and when gonna it's not. I think it's going to be the one time that we differ on this because there's a lot of things that I've been telling him about this when it comes to this virus that if we pay attention to the past when it comes to SARS, when it comes to Mars, when it comes to all these other coronaviruses that we have had, the drastic shutdowns have never been. This but it's been. only like, okay. China. At, at the end of the, the day, this happened. is nothing but fucking listen, pneumonia. When the outbreak, it's a more aggressive form. A more aggressive form of pneumonia, but so it's listen, still pneumonia. When this outbreak originally happened, China did a media blackout, so we could not find out. I know for this. For six weeks. I know this. So there are a lot of areas where people want to sit back and say there are some shady things going on. Yeah, for but example, that's not our part. If that's it's here in the, the Chinese. United States and it's such a widespread, why are they shutting it down county by county instead of? The you know whole what, if we country. want to just yeah. shut this down, we want to stop the yeah. spread, do a full shutdown yeah. right now. Stop waiting for each one to pop up more and more because guess what? The longer we do it that way, if Georgia isn't shut down or North Carolina isn't shut down, guess what's going to happen? Mm-hmm. It's going to keep spreading through them until they shut it down. Exactly. And whoever was in contact is going to keep on to the other states. It just, it just when, I say, when I say pneumonia, it ain't nothing but pneumonia. Y'all don't get it twisted. It's like I say, it's a deadly, uh, what? Deadly form of that shit? A deadly deadly form. More aggressive, that more aggressive yeah. form. I understand that, right? The thing that I hate is the way we're blowing shit out of proportion, like really, really, really out of proportion. You, okay. Buying up, like, okay. bro, when it comes to the flu or being having a cold, besides wiping your nose, like, what the fuck are you really gonna do with? The, I agree. The, like I, toilet I, paper. I don't understand that either. And I don't. I don't get it. Vitamin I was full of vitamins and shit. And, 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 and then they left all the vitamins it. on on the, we on, on the vitamin aisle. That's fucking retarded, bro. Well, you see, y'all stocking up on shit that y'all don't even really need. In, when in we no went way. to the store, I was just saying to him, like, we live in a society where people rather buy hand sanitizer than soap. <laughs> like, there's so many things that I'm seeing going on, and it's like we wonder why everyone's getting so sick. First of all, the fact that everyone went out and bought sanitizing things and the, sh- the shelves went completely empty. Is so like, what, what was your hygiene before this? <laughs> if they can't keep up to supply and demand when everyone is now washing their hands and cleaning, who wasn't washing and cleaning before? Because it makes no sense. I don't think that's important. I think people are just, again, hoarding shit. That like when a hurricane comes, people would get like 10 bottles of water. Really and then if look. y'all looked on OfferUp or Let Go or Craigslist or even it. Amazon. They resold Because it. I went on Amazon looking for a toilet paper and they were $20 exactly. a pack. Exactly. Going grocery shopping, the food cost has drastically... A pack of chicken was $20 you a pack. You found chicken in the store? Yeah. yeah. Cause I didn't find any y'all. Yeah. And he even said he was like, "Why did you buy?" I said, "Because there's no choice. We're yeah. going to not eat." Yeah. yeah. Like, so we have, no choice. we have no choice. So I sit back and look at it like this: like everyone's complaining about the financial issues that we have, but then you have people out here who's literally trying to do everything in their power to make it harder for the ones that are already struggling to survive think- or don't have. I don't know, yeah, they- man. Y'all a piece of shit. Man. Cause y'all don't get me stop. wrong; they may be out of a job, right? And they might be selling it for income, right? But Sell it for $5. But it's my thing, though. Why are you selling it for $5? Like, you get me, like... Because I'm trying to make a fucking profit. But me... Well, something that you only get a couple of cents. But even before a fucking catastrophe and show that, people will always try to resell clothing or whatever the fuck it is. They'll try to resell some shit. It's like, in the day, I'm going to take advantage of the catastrophe, especially now. I'm sorry to bring this up, but you got a point. I hate to bring this shit up, but look what happened when Kobe died. I niggas bought up all his shit and we're trying exactly. to reset so it up like, quick. You feel what I'm saying? Man. I don't know why we got that type of mentality. It's not going to stop. That's all I'm I trying really to say. Don't. It's not going to stop. So it I'm just try- breaks my heart because like I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a big social media person. You know this, <laughs> and I am in the, involved in a lot of groups, not just our group, and I am involved in about four different helping mothers groups. Mm. Whether it's see what's out there that could help me as a parent or it's to give stuff away to other parents right and the one thing that i've been seeing consistently over this last about week and a half is moms online asking other people because they have no access to formula to feed their kids they have no access to baby wipes to diapers to things of that nature so then that makes you sit back and really be like well was you selling it for 20 or 30 dollars worth the fact that this child might die of starvation 
But that's that comes back to my my thing. The social media shit is crazy, and the media period, man. We blowing shit out of proportion, man. How, but how, no, it's true because I went to the store. There is no formula on the shelf. Blowing there shit is out no of proportion. What, what, what do you what do you mean by they're blowing shit out? All right, of like for instance, I went to went I went to Walmart this morning. Right. I want to say by nine thirty they put out the toilet paper. All right. Right. Yo, little old lady, bruh. Little old lady was trying to get at least one pack. I, I ended up giving her mine. You feel what I'm saying? And this one bitch, she just, she got two carts. And she just. For what? You know what, what are you doing saying? this yeah. for, bro? So here come the old lady. Everybody got to grab except her. Right. And she like, damn, she looking at the lady like, damn, that's. I, I really needed one, at least one, yeah. man. The lady like, yo, fuck you, really? man. Just walked off, you wow. feel what I'm saying? And you know what that brings And I feel to... like that's so nasty, bro. Like, come on, this is an old lady, bro. Like, that have some type of compassion, man. My next point, and this one, because what you just said, I put that on stores, too, not just the people. Because... <clears throat> Y'all not limiting these we, niggas. That, what too. They can get. We've already seen the outcome when it comes to hurricanes when it comes to any natural disaster on how people behave so to expect anything different is just ignorant okay we know what's coming we have our warnings we had our warnings when it was happening in china and the stores some stores which shout out to them are already doing this where the first hour is dedicated to That's elderly or to sick or disabled but then you have stores like walmart who will let you go in and fill up your cart completely because to them, it's profit. We don't care who bought it as long as someone as long as it bought, gets bought it. That is a big problem because apparently us adults need to be treated like children in elementary and middle school. Sad enough, we have to be told you can only take two for them to think about, oh, you know what? Maybe other people in this world might actually need it. But even then, a nigga still gonna find a way to like, you feel what I'm saying? To like maneuver the, the, um, the situation in their favor. I see it all the time. Nigga. When I say a limit, I don't mean to a household. For example, when I went to Bravo... But one fucking person. When I, exactly. When I went to Bravo, they're doing that when it comes to their water. It's uh, two, two cases per, per person. person. Right. So if you come with everyone in your household and you're six people, then yes, of course, they need more water because there's more people in that house. But then you have people that do shit like, I'm going to go in, I'm going to buy it, I'm going to leave, put it in the car, go back, and they're going to keep doing that. Until they run out. Right. Well, Why do you need that much water? Let's segue into this. How do you feel about Donald Trump calling it a Chinese virus? He's an I'm idiot. split. I'm split, and I want to answer last after y'all give your opinions on that. I think, I think he's a fucking idiot for that shit. Right. Because, dog, at the end of the day, you're talking about something that it's not brand new, bro. Right. It's been around for, it's on the light, on back of a Lysol no. can. Not anymore, but it was coronavirus at one point. Coronavirus is a type of virus. SARS was a, a different, coronavirus. A different strain. SARS was a, a coronavirus. Different, COVID-19 is what we have now. This is a new strand to them. Right. So coronavirus is what we, it basically is like kind of spreads the same way HIV does, which is why it's such a big thing, the way it attaches to your cells. Mm. Now, when it comes to the different strands, they don't, it's a type, yeah, the same way you could have an STD. STD has been around all for whatever, but if a new type of STD come out that they don't know how to treat, you can't be like, well, STD has been out forever. Yeah, but not this STD. Well, this dude, so that's the this dude, I, bro, I know it's going to sound wrong, but I commend him. I commend him because he's just being like one of us, which I, I, I know is that good or bad, but I just feel like when he says stuff like that, that's like us talking in the back of the kitchen or, you know what I'm trying to say? Saying crazy ass shit like that. But he says it out and, in the public. And I sit back and I look at it and nigga say it's a Chinese virus. Now, the reason why he said that was he said that the Chinese was trying to put in the U.S. troops saying that they brought it over there. And he was trying to come back his country and say, nah, it came from y'all. You know y'all the niggas say? eating bats and shit, but, man. But again, this has been going on for years. This ain't like the first time. So, you know what I mean? so I just feel like... I don't know. I, it, what's coming from it, though, the backlash from all the Asians is where I kind of have a problem with it. You feel me? Because now you're treating Asian-Americans like they're pieces of shit. I just said, told somebody, so, oh, let's order some Chinese food, and they looked at me crazy exactly. talking about it. I don't want exactly. that. That's dumb as exactly. fuck. So um, the reason I say I'm split is because of the part you just mentioned when you said the backlash, mm -hmm. right? And I get the whole aspect on why people was calling it racist. And coming from him, 
I would agree because he has shown his colors or he has shown that he is very capable of having racist behavior. Right. Right? But I'm split because, again, back in history, we had something called the Spanish flu, right? So why wasn't it yelling then that that was a racist term? Or the West Nile virus or Ebola. Or Mars was the Middle Eastern respiratory syndrome. Because you so, can't do that because the shit is nation is listen, worldwide. But they're named based off of where they originated. Mm-hmm. Now that he is giving it a name based off of where it was originated, it is being looked at as racist because he's the one saying it. Y'all let us know. Okay, what check this out. You know why that's bullshit? Okay. I'm pretty sure one of the first fucking places where the AIDS virus came from was right fucking here in America. So why you don't call that shit the American virus? What the fuck? Do we not know. Like, nah, bro. No. There ain't no maybe my ass, man. Yeah, no. That's what the A stands for. No. Anyway, that's what besides, the A stands for. Come besides, on, man. Besides the point, I feel like it's totally wrong. I'm, I'm playing. I'm, I'm, I didn't say originate. No. I say one of the first places that a motherfucker like tested. I just don't want someone to come you in the me? comment section. Yeah, you don't know, know y'all smart about. ass motherfuckers no, we out want, there. No, we want that. We want to uh, try yeah. to educate us and teach us. Cause you can't educate shit. me with that because I know about that. Oh, I don't, don't have it, but I know about it. You feel oh, what I'm saying? But at shit. the same time, but nigga, you don't know. You ain't. How long you been on this earth? You don't know about AIDS, Hell nigga. Hell no. I don't know what the name means. What does AIDS mean? I don't fucking AIDS know. My point exactly. So yeah. we don't know shit. So if y'all know. Educate us, you feel me? That's the point. But not just on that, on all the topics that we ended up reaching tonight, tell us y'all point of views when it comes to the COVID-19 virus. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button down below yeah, to get notified every time we release new content. Sound off in the comment section. We want it good or bad, but we out. Stop spreading rumors, man. G-baby. Listen, we're going in a positive note. You see all this crazy shit that's going on? We got a lot of time to do a lot of shit, you feel me? So we're definitely going to be producing a lot of videos. So but, yeah, like, share, and subscribe because it helps this channel more than ever right now. But besides the point, you see how everyone's suffering and we ain't got no money? We're all in the same playing field now. Mm-hmm. You feel me? At the end of the day, just come together, love each other, treat each other right, and let's try to get through this shit together. Like, share, subscribe. We out.